All right, uh, greetings family. This is Bomani Tayemba. Welcome to our Africa Tours conference call for September 15th. And uh, this is a beautiful Sunday. And our conference call is set from 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to 8, 8.30 uh, same time. So roughly about an hour, hour and a half uh, the most. Family, what I want to get into, uh, we have been talking about these different uh, tours uh, the last several months. So the main thing I'm going to use as the reference point is the email that was sent as for the conference call and then the email that was sent for the tours. All of these are generated to an email system called MailChimp. Uh, sometimes it comes from MailChimp and sometimes um, I just forward the email from my email address uh, to everyone else. So you may see it from two different uh, ways. But uh, the goal of that is just to create a, a a wonderful newsletter with all the details of clarity about any of the tours that we have, uh, show the history and show the links and all, all the information where you can access it, which is the, it will be rerouted to our website whether you click on a, a picture or any of the links. Uh, the main thing about um, uh, the Africa for the Africans, uh, dot org web website is it's uh, you know, information or database uh, website. Uh, we do have lots of pictures. Um, they more so represent um, the first 12 years of just traveling to Africa from 2004 to uh, 2016. Uh, more so as far as the pictures, we have them all over Facebook, uh, some on Instagram, and just out there more in the so social world. So once you get to the website, the main thing is there's an MP3 player on your left. Uh, so if you want some nice music, uh, Turn the volume up. If not, just turn your volume off because uh, whenever you change the page, it's going to reload and the music is going to play again. Uh, all right, so that's our – and both of the um, both of those systems is a flash base. So if you don't have flash installed or enabled, um, you, you won't see any content. But down to the main part of the uh, website, the first thing you see on the, the main left is uh, – uh, join our mailing list, or it will say click below to view all newsletters and to join our mailing list. And once you click on it, uh, just give you a list of um, you know, give you a list of all of the um, the emails that was sent to uh, Mailchimp. So that's a quick way to access any of those emails, um, and they're a combination of the tours and also whenever we do a tour tours a conference call or investment conference call or just any important information that needs to be uh, sent out. And for those who, who just re reach out to me over the past, um, I, I've already have your name on the, the mailing list. And for those who don't like the, the emails or want to be removed, you have access to unsubscribe. And, and so you can always come back here and get access to uh, the newsletters. And most of them are the same, for, and the big difference is just the change of information over the period of time and certain updates and trying to make, make a nice organized newsletter that you can share, look at, and you can just get information. Uh, it is a lot of information on there, but at the same time, too, um, what you're doing is a big investment, so the goal is to have as much details as possible. So some are, are based on, a lot of information is based on this documentation that's showing that uh, We've been doing this type of business for a long time, from 2006 uh, to now, 2019. But even before that, um, started traveling to the African continent in 2004. Um, to the first country was Senegal, which is what we're looking to revisit. And uh, I went to Senegal 2004, 5, 6, and 6, uh, four times. Uh, and you know, just going back to that time, it's like a whole different country now, but, you know, you always remember all these things in the country and see how things shift. But right now is like a great time to you know, push the, the Senegal and the Gambia Roots and Culture Tour. Um, the last attempt I made at that was in 2010. Um, so those weren't good years as far as business. Those are just years that you know, you're trying to just get something going. Uh, so some of these tours that I'm looking to do now, you know, we have a better system and a better way, and then ultimately a bigger, you know, market of energy of people who are shown interest. And um, this uh, scrolling past the uh, mailing list. And once you scroll down, you're going to see uh, the list of the different tours. Now, the idea for the setup on the website is just, just a link where you can just click on the link and you just have access to 
all of the tour information in, in like an organized article setup. Uh, so the list of tours you're going to see as I go through them real quick. South Africa Roots and Culture Tour, November 2020. Ghana Tour, May 2020. Senegal and the Gambia Roots Tour, April 2020. Now, I, do have a South, I do have a Ghana for December, which may be in the next few months, so get to it once we come back from South Africa. The goal is to close out on, on you know, another tour before we add another one. And the 2019 schedule um, we just came a few months back from Ghana Tour, May 2019. And next tour that we have is South Africa Roots and Culture Tour, November 2019. And then uh, Ghana Tour, uh, December 2019. Uh, family, while I'm going through the information, just let me just go through it, and then we'll open up Q&A, so just have your questions written down, but everybody should be on mute. So right now, uh, we're on the website, africafortafricans.org, and just going through the main menu of the website, top list of information on the main menu is the list of tours, and below is support information, the Ghana tour book, uh, this is an excellent organized book to just give you a full feel of the tour uh, itself, and nice investment section. Don't have any of those things for South Africa or you know, Senegal. The goal is as we build the energy and build the documentation is just to have videos and books uh, and, and those things. And the goal is to do these tours just annually. So this is more of a permanent schedule. But uh, once you go down the main menu, other things, um, payment options and plan, uh, contact us, reg registration, about us, uh, Marcus Garvey Vision uh, conference call uh, information for just updates on conference call. Uh, just a quick read, a few read on repatriation uh, investments, and then just have some general articles. Okay. Uh, besides that, uh, once you look over to the middle of the, the website, uh, it does give you a welcome to Africa for the Africans uh, tours and investment, and then it does show the upcoming tours and the prices, and then refer you to go to the main menu to click on the link. And below, uh, there's a few important updates and conference call um, upcoming times and recording links. But what I have is just a, a group photo of all of the tours uh, from May 2019 all the way down to uh, December 2006. So that's the main thing that you'll see on the um, actual front page of the uh, website when you scroll down. Uh, so beyond that, uh, the main thing you're looking to do on the website is really just clicking on the tour link. So what we're going to do is to start on Senegal and the Gambia. And as I talk about Senegal, uh, I've been to Gambia once, and that was in 2006. Uh, that was the summertime. And then after that, um, you know, I kind of lost interest to the fact that uh, you know, the energy of Ghana, as far as flights and things like that, and the opportunity to, to, to take that journey on. So now that we have more flexibility to do multiple countries, we want to definitely connect you to an incredible country, the Gambia. Uh, this is the only other country other than Ghana that you're going to need a visa. So that the visa information, I'm going to get the latest update of the visa information and add that as a fifth article. But right now for uh, Senegal and the Gambia to Roots Tour, it's uh, April 3rd to the 13th. So we leave the U.S. on the 3rd and we get back to the U.S. on the 13th. A list of articles that I have is Tour Overview, um, itinerary, general terms, and departure and reminder list. So I'm just going to go through um, some of the tour overview. And the tour overview is a direct reflection of the itinerary. The only difference is that the itinerary just gives you a full day-to-day -day schedule. So as far as the flight arrangements, uh, we have a group booking on Delta Airlines, uh, which is connected to uh, Air France. Uh, so most of your U.S. flights on Air France, a uh, few of them in the U.S. will leave on Delta Airlines. Um, even though it's the majority of Air France flights, it's uh, booked through Delta Airlines. And based on our routes and things that we needed, this was the best booking that I could arrange. So our flights, um, we have flights even from Atlanta to Paris, JFK to Paris, uh, Chicago to Paris, um, and the Chicago routes were reserve routes. Other than that, we just usually book a few for Atlanta and a few for JFK. And once we find out what people are coming from, our uh, goal is to add to the group booking. And as people pay deposits, you know, we get to add to the group booking and modify it. But whenever I do these tours, um, I always just build a direct uh, contract with uh, the airlines itself. 
well, the earliest I use is, is 11 months because that's when you can reserve those flights. And then the latest is just once the tour is set up like this one, you just do it right away. Uh, so we have about uh, you know, six months away. Uh, so it doesn't give us a lot of time uh, for this journey. But this journey is uh, it's set for a 10-day itinerary, and it's uh, eight days in the country. So you're going to be doing five, five days in uh, Senegal and three days in Gambia. The first day of the tour itself, we just, we're flying from the U.S. Uh, to uh, Paris, and most of our flights are going to leave later on in the nighttime. So it's one of those days where if you need to go to school, do work, or do anything, uh, you have to, you know, you'll be flexible to you know, not use that day um, because we do get back on Monday. Uh, so just putting that out there so people can think about it that's uh, interested in this uh, tour. And, uh, the second day um, is when you really get into the flying. Once you get to um, you know, Paris, the flight leaves in the afternoon, so that's another killer. Um, and, um, but most of our flights are, are set to get there uh, closer to noon or in the early afternoon. Uh, so you have you know, a few hours uh, layover, so we have no rush uh, to get from one location to the next. And once we get to Senegal, it's a flight that gets in late. So basically those two days that I wrote on that itinerary are days that uh, you just look at as just scheduled days that you know for traveling. So the, the third day, as far as the itinerary, we're going to have the third, fourth, and fifth days. Those are three full days. Um, we're in, Sen in Senegal, we're going to just go out for a nice full uh, city tour. And this is going to include um, La Renaissance, African uh, Monument, Black Civilization Museum. Um, we're going to you know, make our way around Independence Square, uh, uh, visit the different um, museum, museum and monuments at the uh, University uh, of the Car, the Sheikh Ant Antadiapa University. Uh, so some of these are direct visits and some of them are walking to us. Some of them are, you know, we're driving by. But these are literally the highlights. Uh, and I tend to go into more, you know, more detail as far as the structure. And another day in Senegal we have is a day we go to Gori Island. And Gori Island is the African Holocaust um, island that was at, that our stolen African ancestors were housed in. So it's off, you know, it's off the coast of actual Senegal. It's a small island, and so the ride is about a good 30 minutes. Um, and uh, there's new there's newer boats, there's newer ports, uh, and everything. So it's a little more efficient than when we uh, used to go back in uh, back in the days. But uh, the goal is to uh, have a full you know, presentation there from uh, visiting the. The Stolen African um, Holocaust Museum, um, the different presentation uh, going around the actual island, um, you know, we're, we, you know, going through presentations talking about the cannons and Europeans fighting each other for, you know, for the control of uh, African people, and that's going to really in depth. So it's only thing that we have all set up, and then we you know we'll be eating lunch there. Uh, so the goal is just, you know, just give us a good time to really just connect and just embrace, uh, you know, embrace um, what happened to our ancestors and just, you know, have our moment to connect. And also, this was literally the first African Holocaust of, um, location I went to in Africa, and uh, this was in 2004, and it literally just, just this had such a, just a profound impact on me. It just literally just changed, you know, changed my life completely, and it's, from that point is when we really just started this building towards uh, you know, the future of Africa tourism investment and looking to repatriate. Uh, you know, a lot of times you learn about these things in school, whether in this grade school or whether this high school or this um, university, and it's just no comparison to the things that they put in these books and they, they say. So we've, I've been able to, you know, and I still have a few videos from, the, the, you know, videos, and we used to make DVDs and even videotapes and, you know, of our trips to you know, uh, Senegal uh, and Egypt was other country to, I went to in that first year. You know, and this is really set up to really you know, give you that special uh, energy. Uh, so I don't want any of this uh, experience to rush as we just recreate new itineraries. It's the goal is to just make the m most incredible itineraries that you're going to see. Now, the third day that we're going to actually spend uh, in, uh, in, in Senegal, which is more so in uh, Dakar, 
um, which all three days, um, uh, all four uh, nights, we're saying we're going to be uh, in uh, Dakar, which we have a we have a nice Senegalese four star hotel, which is you know, which is called Le Nadiambour uh, Hotel, and it's one of those newer ones uh, in Senegal. Um, when we were there, this didn't didn't exist, but this is a a business investment from a group of Senegalese business people that wanted to build a nice luxury hotel. So you know, in this kind of tour, you get to you know you get to put things like that on the itinerary. That way. You know, you can kind of just add a little balance and taste. But this is a nice business hotel. What we used to use before, I got into the mindset of just trying to do more, you know, black-on-black -black business, uh, is uh, the Novotel, which is a French brand. Uh, so this was what was equivalent, which, and this is just definitely a step up uh, from the Novotel. All right, so um, the other day we're going to go out, uh, we're gonna go out to the Thieves. Uh, for shopping, we're going to go out to the Pink Lake, uh, get on 4 by 4 We're going to enjoy a little nature and just enjoy a little, a little out uh, in our Senegal. So it's really three beautiful days. I uh, definitely read through the itinerary since I'm going to go through a lot of other information and other tours. I don't want to just spend too much time going through the full itinerary. And, um, and then uh, we have um, one day, um, right after we finish all those tour days in Senegal, we're going to take uh, about a five-hour ride across into the Gambia. Uh, the capital city is Banjul. Um, we're going to be staying in Kotu. Uh, last time I stayed in Kololi, uh, which is right on the beach, or, or you know, it's, or give you close proximity to the beach. But the hotel that we're staying at is on the beach. Uh, and it's incredible because they have this incredible black sand beach. It's like you, you know, people won't believe it until you actually get in the water and you, you pick up a grain of sand and you see the sand is black, beautiful black. It's, it's you know, it's incredible. Uh, so um, the Gambia, uh, not much. We're doing that full city tour uh, in Banjul. Um, got a lot of beautiful markets. That's one of the things I remember about Gambia. A lot of things are very inexpensive, and for those who like to shop, there's a lot of shopping. So we have uh, the Gambian Museum, uh, uh, presidential sites, uh, and fashion and boutique, uh, Banjul Independence uh, Square, uh, and one of the popular markets is the uh, Seredunda uh, Market, uh, and I'm trying to pronounce these things more. Uh, the next day we have is we're going to be doing a full uh, tour of James Island to learn about uh, our stolen African ancestors. Um, the, Full tour to Jufri, home of Kunta Kente, Alex Ailey Roots. Uh, so those are the two days uh, there um, in the Gambia. And the day when we're doing African Holocaust is the same thing. You know, it's a full day. That not much is on that itinerary, but that that way we can focus, get our recordings, uh, have you know, conversation, be able to reflect. And you know, so it's more so this you know, time allotted to this focus. Uh, so that's one of the things you know when you. When we used to write these itineraries for like Ghana and you just running people through Cape Coast and Elmina Holocaust dungeons and you know, next thing you know people getting dehydrated. So that's what I'm proud of this itinerary. Um, you know, and plus you don't have you know, you don't have that full bunch of uh, highlights of tourists uh, or certain sites like you know, like a country like Ghana or South Africa. But both countries together just make a unique itinerary. Uh, before we used to have it as the Gambia and Senegal and more days in the Gambia because wanted to get out of this, the, the whole French energy in Senegal, but uh, we had some incredible things to do in the Gambia. Uh, I had to just literally remove a whole lot of things on that itinerary to fit it in the schedule of the, you know, the time frame that we have. And so once we leave from um, um, the Gambia, we're going to head back to Senegal, but instead of going to the car, we're going to go to uh, Simone, which is a 15-minute ride from the airport because the new airport puts you almost an hour away from you know, from the car. So instead of going back to the car um, and then having to do that long ride back, we're gonna stay in. We're gonna stay in a nice uh, local hotel right there. Um, you know, right there on the beach again. Uh, so we have a nice little. We can use that day to just relax. Uh, maybe do some swimming, uh, sh final shopping, and things like that. Uh, so that is the uh, Senegal and the uh, Gambia Roots tour, April 3rd to the 13th uh, itinerary. And uh, it's a package of 3,300, which includes uh, flights. And uh, if anyone interested in the same sequence of the rest of the tours, uh, deposit. 
and um, get your receipt and lock your reservations reservations in, and then you pace yourself, or you can just work monthly plan or just work it out. We don't really have a set in stone payment plan. Um, what we have on the website on the general terms or payment options and plans are just an idea if you were able to pace yourself uh, you know, uh, with a certain amount. But those are things that we have this lot of flexibility and options um, the way I just like to do things in life. That way you know, folks can flow a little bit easier. All right, what I'm going to do is uh, let me open up a session of Q&A for anyone who wanted to talk about the Senegal tour. Um, really, um, star 6, star mute yourself and um, ask a question if anyone have any question in reference to the Senegal and the Gambia Roots tour, April 2020. All right, and this uh, tour, i um, looking to get it set for the following year also, um, especially since this is a short period of time where we're putting it out. Uh, people may have already have plans, and it's not very easy to book these uh, with this time frame, but it's one of those tours where we're even open to this, taking a smaller group. Our goal is 10 to 20 people, and I'm trying to work some uh, incentives, uh, maybe, a, wanna, maybe a discount for a few people who want to, jump in early but the good thing about the family um, all of the stuff on the itinerary is set to go and you you know you have your hotel doing everything and so for anyone who they don't want to have a question just reach out to me and just send an email or just call me and the goal is just to make sure everybody's clear on everything all right so family since no one have any questions on that um, go back to lecture mode and go to the next tour which is uh, South Africa Roots tour, and that's for November 22nd to December 2nd. All right, this one we've talked about a lot. Uh, I don't want to go too much into it, but uh, this is the South Africa Roots and Culture tour. Uh, so, tour overview um, I went over a few times, and not much uh, new. Um, but uh, what I can um, let you know, we have two confirmed hotels um, for Johannesburg. It is the Marriott uh, Parktonian uh, in Johannesburg, all suite hotel. So the link is on there uh, once you go to tour overview itinerary. Right. And then the other one is I was trying to get it finalized for for the waterfront um, Marriott, but uh, end up getting the next one that's a little bit away from there. Um, and this is Cape Town Mowbray. Right. So that's the Marriott in that area. So the link is on there also. So we're set for a um, wonderful time in South Africa. So right now it is 15 of us, and we have our reservations. Um, half of the group uh, of us will be leaving from Atlanta going to Johannesburg. Some of us have connections into Atlanta. The other half of people, fortunately, um, um, once they came on the journey, um, I wasn't able to get anything from Atlanta. It just other groups of people just bought those direct flights up. So the connection is to... Um, um, to KLM to Amsterdam, so we have two different pickups. For those who are going to be going that, going to JFK and go, Atlanta, I'll be, you know, when we get more so next uh, week or two, I'll be creating a WhatsApp group and we're going to be going in, into details on those things and the game plan. That way, everybody just have upfront information on what we're doing. But at the same time, too, even when I do those things, all important e uh, information is sent via e email. And also the other thing as far as um, when we're in South Africa, we have a round trip on Mango Airlines, which is a subsidiary of um, South African Airways. So I already have those tickets arranged. Um, where we had, we had a group booking set up to where we pay 50% on the tickets. So uh, we're looking to close on that about 30 days. And then as far as uh, South Africa, we put a normal deposit down on that one. So those tickets are secure and we'll pay the balance 45 days before we leave. Uh, and our tour guide and tour company is arranged with bus and driver uh, to take us around. So they're clear, clear on our schedule. And um, once we uh, do more of the and more of the WhatsApp, uh, be able to just send people information as far as who are all the detailed people that we're dealing with. Uh, and even so, you know, when we get closer to the last uh, one or two conference calls. And then as far as uh, South Africa. We have literally two beautiful days out. Uh, it's a combination of Johannesburg and Soweto. And then 
The third day out we have is a full safari. And then the last day that we have, it's more of a, since we're going to get back in late, it's more of a relaxed, laid-back day where you can just catch up on some final things um, before we leave for Cape Town the next day. And then when we're in Cape Town, we have two full tour days. And the goal of these uh, full tour days is, you know, you get out about 9 o'clock and you come back around 4 o'clock. That way you just get a full array of things um, based on the area that we're going to. So that's how, we, you know, when you look at that itinerary you want, and are we going to do all of this? And also people, maybe one thing we may be off by, and that's usually it. Um, in Ghana, it's uh, usually a George Padmore Library, which is usually something that, you know, we end up forgetting to remove or we just put it on there just as a highlight. But, we, but nevertheless, the, the goal is, you know, you know, when you have the bus set up, it just it takes you around and you just hit all the connected points. And I work with, you know, whoever the, the guide is in. I just explain to them, you know, my game plan of everything. Um, you know, and, and that's the benefit of, you know, doing these tours where you have been to these countries, you know, before. Um, and, you know, so you go from when you just go in there and then, you know, you have people that's, you know, working for you and, and, and your, your group and they're just doing certain things. And then, you know, once you get to a better feel of the country, you, you know, you are giving them advice on how you want certain things based on, you know, the groups of people that you have coming because, you know, you have to tell your host, you know, the, the type of certain things. So, you know, we're at that, we're at that point where uh, the full tour days is just perfect and then the free days and the days where, you know, so trying to just create these incredible schedule again to where you can just have the best moment and enjoy the most of your money and then be relaxed and, you know, get a combination of roots culture business investments um, and you know some journeys are more like the, the Gambian Senegal is more focused on you know, you know African Holocaust they have you know two special days uh, you know per country that's set for that and the same to Ghana but as far as uh, South Africa um, don't have anything like that but we know we do have a lot of cultural energy and then then the struggle of apartheid uh, in Soweto so in that case, it would be that outcry, that struggle. You know, um, that way, you know, you get a balanced experience of the country. Uh, so that's what I love about uh, this itinerary. Family, I you know, definitely want everyone to read through these itinerary in detail. Um, make sure, the m most important thing is also to make sure that you're clear on the general terms uh, that deals with cancellations and refund and things like that. Because, um, you know, it's all there for, you know, because as you do these things over a period of time, you know, and you kind of connect and deal with people, you know, you just try to create a sequence where, you know, where, where you know, certain questions and certain craziness that may happen, you just write it in the, the schedule and details to where people are clear. Um, and that's, you know, so when you look at it, you may say, oh, it's a lot to read and things like that, but that's the problem of the world that we live in today. People do not want to read enough of. And I do try my best at times to just verbally just go through um, all the full tour overview, itinerary, and so on. But we're getting to the point where we have more, on the, more of these schedules coming up, and the best thing to do is just have one conference call to talk about all these tours and because we have so much recordings of, you know, of, of these presentations. And then we're going to be doing videos talking about the different tours and things like that as in the next uh, next few weeks or so, um, and a lot more interviews. So I definitely want uh, to just you know, keep on letting everyone know that uh, just if you're traveling on a tour with us, just take your time and read through those articles. And some you may have to read through more than once or twice. And uh, things like Visa, you definitely have to put more focus on it. All right, and let me just cut back on the South Africa November, November 2019 uh, tour link. Now you're going to see something that says South Africa visa clarification. So all that means is that um, if none of us are going to be in South Africa for more than 90 days. If you are, then you'd have to apply for a certain visa. Tourism, uh, and we're there for a very short period of time. Uh, there's no visa. Uh, other articles I have on there is improving your immune system, uh, just given recommendations of doing things more natural and more just normal versus, you know, the world that we live in is just pills, pills, sh uh, shots, shots. You know, just either you're getting shot up with some injection which you don't know what's in there or you just, you know, I mean, you're just swallowing some pills which you don't know what is in the pills, you know. Um, so, you know, not trying to give people medical advice and things like that, just, you know, 
person has believed this in nature and sustainability as we push in that energy and just recommending more of us you know, save us some of our money uh, instead of getting all these vaccinations and just invest our energy into this something a little more natural. So we've got some good ideas on there. I've learned a lot from reading those information that was passed on to me from uh, from another person that was in this business, uh, just like the general terms, and I've modified both of them. And so all of these are the focus items to make sure things are clear. All right, so that is it uh, for uh, South Africa. And just to reflect back on South Africa and Gambia, the goal is to record a lot of pictures and videos uh, for both of these countries since I don't really have the things, you know, the, the clips that I have for Ghana, like, you know, like those, two, like those three countries. Uh, so I definitely believe that, you know, once we do that, uh, we have a lot more energy and we can definitely let people get to be more visual, you know, because trust me, what I have is ancient recordings. Uh, they're good stuff, but it's, you know, everything we shoot nowadays is in 4K HD, you know, to match with the, the fancy big TV that you have in the living room when you just click on YouTube and you're just watching all of the footage of this, us in Africa. Uh, it just really looks special because the thing about it is like, like sometimes I'm looking at it and like you feel like you could just walk into the picture. It just looked that real. Uh, so that's why we, it's not to just push crazy technology, but the, you know, shooting in the highest definition just allow you to, things to be just more realistic, you know, kind of like when you see video game systems from 20 years ago is dull compared to what you have nowadays. So just always want to be up on you know, the newest technology of things. So very excited about going to South Africa and uh, shoot uh, us, you know, shoot some videos of, you know, especially in the safari, you know, it's like, it, you know, this is, I'm literally just excited about that because it's one of those things that people gave me a hard time for like 10 straight years. Are we going to go to safari? Are we going to safari? And, you know, you tell them that there's safari in Northern part of Ghana, but our schedule don't go there. Uh, but this is one of those real life safaris, uh, Planetsburg. We do have another location that's a little further out, but that's one of those things we probably could do in the future, but we have to plan a, maybe a, maybe a two-day situation. And those are recordings that I look forward to having and setting myself up to where I got all the extra, you know, because once you're out there, you're out there. You know, you may not be able to, you know, you charge certain things. So, you know, you want to, and th this is also everyone, you want to, you know, that that's looking to shoot and record you want to bring your portable charger. You want to bring extra batteries you know, extra SD cards because everything nowadays is SD cards for your phone, for your camcorder, your camera. All right, family, uh, let me um, open things up. And uh, questions are in reference to uh, the last two tours I'll talk about. And then once we finish, I'm going to go into the Ghana tour. And then most of what I want to talk about is the visa and um, this one or two additional things. All right, so family, it is a lot of people on the call. Uh, star six to unmute yourself, unless everybody is calling for Ghana, which uh, we just automatically push to the end from here on. So we can just make time to talk about these new countries and things. It's just been, most of those calls are all about Ghana. Uh, so trying to get the energy to just really push more countries uh, based on all the requests of folks. Uh, who, so when are you going to go somewhere else? When are you going to go to this country? When are you going to go to that country? So finally figure those things out. It's very difficult to pull those things out, but we've got a unique system here, a new business office where, you know, we have got my data center computer here with this ridiculous amount of hard drives and, you know, met, you know this regular file system along with digital file system. Book receipts to digital book receipts. So everything is done duplicates or triple based on modern day and ancient systems we do it all and it's like if you need to write a check you can write a check or transfer or one of those are online or uh, transfer so um nevertheless uh family uh it's a uh, star six to unmute yourself or if you're using your pc you just got to click on the unmute button All right, so everybody seemed quiet. Um, let me continue. All right, uh, family, and the uh, next tour that we have is uh, the Ghana tour, and this is set for December 
2019 and May 2020. Those two tours are actively uh, going. For December, um, uh, we have uh, 20, it's 24 us, of us, despite the unbelievable amount of people that have canceled and or actually to put them on another tour. Uh, so, um, which is a split between December of uh, next year and May of next year, which is not always a bad, which is never a bad thing because it gives you flexible options to just start building, a, you know, building another tour. Uh, so that's um, so we may be able to just add a few more people if they reach out ahead of time. Um, but uh, right now that's a perfect group. So we have the big uh, fancy big red bus uh, reserve um, for December. For um, yeah, for May right now it is 20 of us. So anyone still interested in those uh, two journeys, just reach out. Uh, the details are right here on the, on the website. Uh, just click on the May or December link, and it gives you all of the uh, tour details. Uh, so both, both tours are different prices. The December tour, a little more with the plane tickets, that's 3,700, and uh, the May is uh, 3,500. While that you know that price. It's not guaranteed to stay there. Um, it was just a, it was a step down from adjusted it from 3,700 to push that journey in May. Um, it's got bigger plans in May to this for a bigger group. Uh, so this you know, made some adjustments. Uh, but uh, both of these Ghana tours they're set for uh, four day uh, the 12 day itinerary. They're set for four days in Accra, uh, three days in Kumasi, and three days in Cape Coast. So based on the flow of the itinerary, we may leave from Accra and go to uh, Cape Coast, or we may you do our normal route, Kumasi. But those things are never guaranteed. It's all about just the flow of the days and the schedule. Uh, for uh, for this uh, for December, we're gonna go to Cape Coast um, right after we leave Accra, which is I think that's the first time in since uh, 2006 we actually just took that route. And in May, back to the normal schedule. Accra, Kumasi, Cape Coast. It's, it's, you know, when you look at the map, it's formed as like a triangle. Accra from Kumasi is five hours. Kumasi from Cape Coast is five hours, and Cape Coast from Accra is about three three hours. That's why we need a nice, comfortable red bus where you can recline the seat. You have you know your USB chargers. You, know, you have your TVs. You have a beautiful audio sound system. So whether we just listen to music or watch movies or people. They're, they're performing or they're doing poetry or singing or doing any kind of entertainment. That bus is set and that's, you know, so the Ghana tour goes always try to get you know, a minimum 20 people. Uh, um, you know, ideal group size is 30 or 40 because that's big bus and very pricey but worth every cent of it. Um, it's, it, it, it enhances the experience. I mean we spend, you know, let, you like to say you spend most of your time in the hotel but you don't. You spend most of your time on the bus. Fortunately, but you know, it's a it's a tour tour where you see tourism site and you have a tour guide that's up talking and lecturing. That's you know, so that's all the lecture you're gonna get. Um, uh, in the business conference uh, we have a set. Uh, some you know, depends on the gathering of people we have. It may be a bigger or a smaller one. Um, but the goal is just to put the right people around us. Um, real estate lawyers, people who works with the land commission, people who are, who are into the world of uh, investment, people who are repatriated and and I've been able to be there and sustain himself and can talk to you about certain things. But that's what a business conference is about. It's about this giving you clarity about the focus on business. And then our project as far as uh, the community that we're building in Ghana, um, my goal is to put all those details on that tenor as I work out and then the logistics for December and, and May. But, you know, I always try to just have a land um, program to where you can you know, get land and or get clarity of how to go about getting your own land, uh, which is one of the things we always encourage folks. Uh, you can go out and get your own, or you can work together with different groups of people, or you can work with groups like what we have put together, which is a little more complex because it's more for you know building a real community from nothing, and this takes stages of building. Uh, nevertheless. Um, uh, for both uh, December and May tour, uh, everyone that's showed interest and communicated with me, I've sent you a visa email. Now, the visa email is a detailed email that we have to where 
and just tell everybody just to print everything out, print out the email and print out all the attachments. The attachments are just a copy of what it look what the uh, Ghana visa look like, which will be in your visa once you get it in your in your passport. It's a it's a, a you know it's a big stamp which all your details. That's your visa and it's affixed onto one of the pages. Uh, the other attachment is a blank f visa form, and then uh, I'm one of the people that just, just type everything up. So I, I type up all my forms, and you can always edit them. And things that are weakness, print out a blank one. And this, but if you're going to fill out a blank one, uh, you have to make everything capital letters. So it's either you type it in normal text, or or you know you can also type it also in capital letters. Which is what I, I would you know, always recommend is just easier to read and less mistakes with people uh, details. And uh, the, the fourth uh, attachment for the uh, Ghana visa is the requirements. So what it is is the detailed requirements that we just put together based on all the information that I've attained from the Ghana Embassy website. You know, which uh, you know naturally what you recommend everyone also do is you now they can always check. Um, the website, check the embassy website of the country that they're going to and you know, do some of your own research and things. But beyond that, I just put visa information up and I'm always available to help anybody with visa questions, whether you text me, call me, email me, or just um, ask it, um, your question on one of these uh, uh, conference calls. Uh, so once again, all the information that you have is just for you to be clear on all these details. Um, the Ghana tour, you'll see a few more details based on the things that we just packages together. Uh, one of the, the things that's different is we have a full uh, tour preparation, what to pack, um, culture, customs, and key things to know, and which is also some of those um, information was taken off both of those, and then they were added to what you have as the departure reminder list, which is more of a summary list at the end. Uh, language is there, and then the usual files. Um, a tour overview at itinerary general terms. You know, it's, it is a little to read, but uh, at the same time, too, is what I have up front and available for anyone who have interest. That way, they can look at it and compare it, or look at it and say, I, "I'm not, you know, that, you know, this is a route that is not for me, or whatever." You know, so I just believe in the, that that modern day presentation and form. And that's what I'm always saying to folks, you can go back to our Facebook page and you can look at all the pictures of all the tours we have taken. That way you can see who physically is on in those pictures and things. And you know, for those who are traveling that's, that are, are non-African or non-black, you know, I'm hoping that they look at that and realize that you have all of these, all of these groups of people and they're all black people and realize that it's not for them. Or, even, or hopefully that you know, something that they see eventually will tell them that. Um, and... But you know, naturally, if, you know, if anyone in general wants us to organize something, I got people there in all these different countries, and they don't care which color people I send them. I just tell them that's only people that I have time to accommodate and build with, because you, you know, is you know, this is a special tour. These these tours that I list on the website are special journeys for my brothers and sisters from the African diaspora to help us reconnect to the African continent, you know, for the purpose of nation building. Um, and anything beyond that is just watering it down. Uh, so pe pe some people felt offended, uh, and you know, I'm not a person to try to offend people or disrespect people, you know. But like someone asks me a question, I just tell them a direct answer. It's like it's, uh, you know, it's, you know, it's I don't know, it's maybe, you know, maybe, you know, maybe it's just upbringing of just you know how you know how we grew up. But it's you know, there's no need to sugarcoat anything. It's just it's the journey for us, and it's also for those of us who want to be respectful to the rest of us. If you're gonna come and you're just gonna have a certain attitude and feel like you're a certain, you know, you know, it's just not for you. It's a group tour. Uh, I'm not saying that you know, most of us are also individual. I'm a person I keep to myself for the most part. Uh, but whenever we're doing anything group or business. Um, try to fully just engage in the situation. Now, I don't understand people. You know, some people want their 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 time, and you know, you, you definitely have that time. But going around the country, sharing our stories, and you know, for me personally, it's a special connection. It's something that we never really have much of. It's like you know, it's like you go to work, and you know, you have all kind of people up there. I used to work in Atlanta Airport and in the aircraft maintenance department, and uh, which is not as diverse as 
every other department. It's usually a few black people and a bunch of redneck white boys. And that's it. Uh, and everywhere else, you just have all kind of people and everything. Uh, and it's like, you know, people are thrown together, and it's like you got to follow all of these rules of engagements and things like that. And if someone is a homosexual or someone have um, have certain different, you know, different, you know, different way of certain things. It's like everyone is forced to come together and just do, you know, and it's it doesn't. And sometimes it's cause stress and this, you know, and this, you know, to where you want to get away. So this is a journey for you around your brothers and sisters that are about connecting to the African ancestor, connecting to the roots and culture, and you know, and you know, we just want folks, everyone, just come and just be respectful to each other. And you know, and you know, focus on himself. You know, um, you know, you may see people doing certain things. You may see people rolling out with me every night because they just like to hang out at nighttime, and that's their business. They want to enjoy themselves at nighttime. They pay their money. You have some people; they're more into you know, the business conference, the, you know, the lectures, and engaging with the tour guide and talking, speaking free with them. And I say, do everybody do your, you know, enjoy it. It's set up for everybody to enjoy it, but it's it's also set up to where we don't have to get in each other way, and and you know we can you know so. You know, I've done the, this Ghana tour uh, 16 times. I want to say it's over 400 people, and it's it's incredible. It's you know um, for the most part you have wonderful, incredible energy, but I I can't deny the one or two crazy mess that goes on. Like you know, it's, it's like you just shock. So you just tell people like there's no need to this like. There's, there's no need for all of that. Like I had this one guy from the army; he just did not like me, so I literally just kept away from him. Cause uh, he, he called me one night and he was saying something to me, and and I was explaining to him about the schedule and itinerary, and he started, you know, just going off on me. And I explained it to him, and I'm, I'm explaining to him that that this is the schedule and this is the situation. So he posed a situation that I'm the customer; I'm always right. And I was like, you know, that may work in some world that you live in, but in this world we live in, it's not about, you know, it's, it's not about that. Just like if you're a woman and you do something wrong, it's the same as a man doing something wrong. You know, I had one lady just ran out the bus and almost knocked me out the way and, and asked her not to go because we were about to pull off. And then she got upset when we were about to leave her. You know, it's like, you know, it's like we're, we're going to do our best. And, you know, and I was cool about that situation. I didn't address it until I got back and just told everybody on Facebook and just called her out and things like that. But even things like that, I don't even like doing, but it's like people expect you to be a perfect person, and like, you know, like for you to take their abuse. And that's not what we're here to do. We're here to accommodate you, connect with you, and show you the best experience. Uh, so definitely just want to remind people, so when you start reading certain things or if you see a video because you're going to see different videos. I've, I've, I've done some of those videos. I have no idea what people even are going to see sometimes. Sometimes you, you see me on a video addressing something, addressing – I have a few videos where I was addressing staff members of mine talking about how grateful they are. And, and it's, you know, and this is just real. I'm this person that's trying to share our energy of us and saying to us, let's work together. Let's do better as a people. Let's not just – treat each other a certain way that we normally wouldn't treat someone else if they were another race or color, which is, you know, it's like you deal with, you know, you deal with the, the abuse of just working with, you know, racist rednecks, and then you deal with the abuse of sometimes dealing with your own brothers and sisters, you know? you know, and so, you know, just like, you know, family, you know, they may see you traveling, so they may think you're rich and got money, like, I was like, That's, it doesn't work like that, and I was like, if I was, you have to invest all that money back in your business anyway, you know, so... Just want us to just keep a true, real energy with each other and just build because at the end of the day, you know, and that's the same energy I'm connecting with my brothers in Ghana and say, hey, the family, let's say, hey, let's, let's work together as a people and build something special because I tell them at the end of the day, the best of our people are the ones that are coming to Ghana or coming to Africa. It's not like you got a bunch of, you know, crazy, just, you know, so it's something special to work with and, and just feel, you know, I feel the wonderful energy of this. And looking forward to connecting with so much people and looking forward to even building something real in a country like Ghana and then like just tell people proudly, you know, we went through a certain struggle and we build this for our brothers and sisters and that's just so we can, you know, work more effectively to build a future in Africa and you know, and because it's it's still a great opportunity and you know, while we stay here and not perfect that opportunity, um, others are coming in. So this Ghana tour focus a lot about investments, repatriation. I mean, it's a tour itself, but it's like 
a lot of people you're going to meet, they used to live here, they live there, so it, it infused that story of, of you know, repatriation. Right, uh, so family, uh, um, I've talked enough about the situation. Let me just mention two or three more things about the visa, and then we'll open up a Q&A. Now, the visa, the most important thing in the visa is for you to put a prepaid return envelope, and preferable a, a priority mail or envelope with tracking. Uh, there have been a few situations where, you know, where I guess in the embassy, someone just, I guess they weigh their passport and put an envelope and put a stamp on there based on the weight, which is the correct way to do it. But you you end up just being better just paying a flat rate, you know, um, because if the weight shifts, which it shouldn't, because they're all they're doing is putting a visa page in there. But the people at the post office, some of them sometimes is just unbelievable. Uh, so uh, not post office, the people at the embassy, uh, people at the post office have their own situation. Uh, but, you know, we have to do things like tracking. And even though tracking is not guaranteed, it's going to save your package. It's like, you know, you want everyone to just, Outgoing tracking and then prepaid return label would return tracking that way you go online and track your you know, track your package going and coming. Like right now I have my passport in Philadelphia getting renewed and it should be sending it back to me in a few days. The main thing about the visa is the, the, the actual email itself beyond the attachment that you're gonna print out, the, the email itself has a nice sort of checklist. So literally if you print that checklist out and take it with you to the you know, to the um, to the post office there's no way that any mistakes would be made because it literally just go to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, all of the steps, and then once you just go in, you check it off, and you send it out, it comes back. So those are the things that um, it's set up just to make it easier for you as possible, and by sharing those details. And like I said, family, anything that I've talked about or anything that you see on the site that you need clarity, you need explanation and details, um, just reach out to me, and I go through it with you. It's, for me, this is all natural. It's something that's been doing straight for 15 years, getting up like every few months and packing to go to wherever we're going to Africa. You know, before it was just go to, go record experience and take a small little group. Now it's just trying to take it to a bigger level, but it takes a while to learn all those things. So that's the 15 years experience I have that's reflecting of what we can share and connect everyone to. So family, it's uh, star six to unmute yourself. I found I felt like I've talked for 50 straight minutes and not heard anybody else voice. Like I feel like I was been talking to this computer and this mic. Is anybody out there? Is anybody out there that meet, that want to speak? Uh, star six to unmute yourself. And then anybody who's using the screen share, let me know if it's working. Uh, I got this other screen in the way at times. And just looking for some questions for the for Senegal and the Gambia, South Africa or Ghana tours. So that's why we just do one conference call because not really a lot of questions. So which is fine if everything is clear, everything is clear. But uh, that's me going through the schedule that we have, and for everyone that's listening, 100% of all the details that you need to look at is available on our website Africa or the Africans.org. And all photo galleries from 2006 until now are on my uh, f Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash Bomani. And then uh, YouTube does have over 1,500 videos of Ghana, Togo, Benin, Ethiopia, Brazil. And I think uh, that is it. And looking forward to adding South Africa. <laughs> Hello, can you Hello. hear me? Right, well, Hello. I'm going to mute Hello. everybody again real quick, and then you're going to press star six and unmute yourself. Hello, well, my name is Matrell. Can you hear me? Uh, greetings, Matrell. Uh, perfect. Uh, were you just trying to... to or were you, or? <laughs> yeah, I was trying to get in. <laughs> but they um, had us, like, in queue or something. It said um, the press won, and I did, and I was just waiting, but that's why I, I texted you. But anyway... My question is about the um, the visa package. So I'm putting mine together, and yes, everything is is explained here well. But I I think this might be a stupid question, but to be sure, it says that we need to fill out two applications signed. So when it says staple two passport style photos, is that one photo for each application, or is it two 
photos per application. Now, everything is done in duplicate, so you fill out the first application, and then you sign it, and then you make a copy of it, and you put a passport style photo on each on the top right and staple it. So you end okay. up with two applications signed with um, photos. With one photo each? Yes, uh, one photo each. Okay. Okay, cool. That's what I needed to know. Thank you. All right, perfect. Um, uh, but my name is Bernard. Uh, Bernard, uh, go ahead, Bernard. Um, yeah, yeah, I came in late. I, sorry about that, but uh, I just want to tell you, I missed the, uh, the conversation about South Africa. Uh, if you get a quick update on that, uh, I would appreciate it. Um, no, I don't have any up, um, updates other than um, just uh, you, have you read have you read all the information as far as the itinerary, the overview, and those things. That's the main thing. Other than that, I was saying I have 16 of us, and um, um, all reservations have been money have been put on, and we're set to close out reservations, um, um, local tickets, international tickets, and things like that. Uh, when we get closer to under the two month mark. And uh, that was it. Uh, just going over the same thing that we go over, just the schedule and the t details, and just letting everyone know that read, read everything, be clear on your schedule. When you get your emails, um, um, like your flight itinerary, make sure you're clear on that and things like that. So, and then in general, anything important, I'll definitely uh, send an, a direct email, and it will be titled in reference to, like, you know, you're going to South Africa with us, so it will be titled in that direct reference. So the best thing for me when I send emails is you now read the subject. If it's relevant, you click on it. But I'll more so be giving um, certain updates once we get closer, and then I'll be working on a WhatsApp uh, group page for people to connect with each other on the tour. Okay. All right. Good. Appreciate yeah. it. Thank you. All right. Perfect. Now, as far as yourself, do you have any questions as far as that itinerary and things like that? Those are what I was really trying to get from individuals once they read that itinerary and they looked at a certain things. No, no questions with itinerary. Uh, just, just go with. I'm gonna just go with the flow. I mean, that's what it is. I have it. And there's no visas, also, um, unless you're going for 90 days. Right. No, I'm not going for 90 days. So Could you address you know, what's going on in South Africa right now? You don't, you don't think that's going to have an effect on it? Um, repeat that about – yeah, like that. Like th those are good questions. I repeated – I heard partial of the question. Repeat it so all of us could be clearer. Uh, yes, I was just wondering about the, uh, you know, the thing that's going on in South Africa right now. I was wondering, uh, did you speak on that? you think that might affect us at all? Uh, uh, no, they, they, better, uh, they better stop that foolishness before we get there. That's one thing I can say to them, because you know, I'm running folks over with our vehicle. They're getting our way. But no, no, uh, it's, it's a sad situation. Uh, just, uh, yeah, it's a sad situation, and it's more so, you know, was on this call telling everyone that all of us have a part to play in the situation, because at the end of the day, um, when, that, when that stuff is being played in Europe and all these other places, or just anywhere in general, even here, um, people are looking at all they... They, I mean, no one, I can't tell a Nigerian from a South African. You may, you may tell certain things based on dressing and things like that and when you get closer. But in general, you know, people have seen black people fighting each other and then the crazy stuff that's going on in Nigeria. But, um, you know, I like what uh, Malema, um, you know, addressed, uh, which, you know, sometimes you need a powerful voice like that to get up there and just let people, let people know, you know, what the real situation is. Um, so... I don't know a whole lot about it other than once I saw one or two videos, I had to change the screen because I just I lost my appetite and everything. Just like, but uh, it's one of those things that uh, you know where you know where we go and uh, you know we shoot our videos and we talk in solidarity and you know we get a few people and you know a few people and we interview them and you know we just push love and you know, you know like you know like Bob Marley, this Africa Unite, you know, just play the song and chant it and just push the energy and this. So just try to put some positive stuff out there. So I'm looking forward to going for just that purpose, even uh, that being one of the main purpose to this share in solidarity, let people know that we're coming and something that happened is terrible, but we're not going to let it throw us off and everything. So whenever these things happen, like none of my hosts ever call me and tell me anything. They never say anything there, you know, but because they always tell me that it's being drawn out of proportion. Right, right. right. We talk to them. 
but uh, yeah, it, it, it really it, it hurts, brother. It hurts, like, because there's, like, there's, there's a set of people that's working. There's people like us on this call that's working towards, like, not buying into the stereotype and the crazy stuff. And, you know, it, it throws you off when you see those things. And so I'm, I'm hearing people saying that it's a setup or somebody, you know, it's like you always hear these conspiracies and things, but at, but at the end of the day, you know, it's like how can we prove any of those things? You know, so we just have to realize that we just can't buy into these things. So I want you know, so hopefully you and a few other people can you know, share some stuff in, you know, in these videos we put out, especially when we go to a country like South Africa. It makes a world of a difference because people, you know, won't see what, people won't see the kind of stuff that we put. They're not seeing that, you know, you know, because we're coming with a different energy. So, you know, hopefully, hopefully you and a few other people, Warren, you're on the call too, you know. Uh, you're a great scholar yourself. Hopefully, you know, we can have some good conversation and talk about the race hate, got us, the, the hatred towards each other just got to stop. I know lots of people say that all the time, but it's like something that we just always got to just keep beating ourselves in our head, you know? And, uh, you know, like when I first came to America in uh, 88 and I heard the song, it was like self-destruction, that song. It's, it's stuck in my mind still to this day. Uh, and, you know, with all the different uh, hip-hop artists. And so, and, you know, so it's in, and something like that just affects someone like myself to always you know, be positive and things like that. So any little things that we can do it would definitely help. Uh, but also, if anyone is on the call, I'd like to share, you know, share anything, just press star six in, in a share way. Yeah, this is Diane from North Carolina. Can you hear me? Uh, greetings, Diane. How are you? I'm well. I got my pass. I got my visa back. I'm so excited. <laughs> Perfect. See how simple that was? Pay yeah. <laughs> as long as you follow directions, all good, right? Yep, exactly. And it came back. So I'm, I'm grateful. I wish that Senegal uh, Gambit, I'm excited about that trip, but just getting back in January, I don't know if I could, I can't, you know what I mean, <laughs> that, that trip with the money right in April. I wish I could because those are two places I surely would like to go. So i got to really work on that. And that's what's up, uh, I've, uh, you know, have uh, you seen the full itinerary and everything? Mm-hmm. I could perfect it. to want to... One of the best, you know, best logistic itinerary. Yeah, I wish I could go. Boy, I had to see. So the the, the goal I have is you know, to you know, build the energy, you know, add it uh, for the following year. That's what yeah. I'm doing with uh, South Africa. It's uh, you know, and South Africa has just been, I've been pushing it for two years, and we finally got a group of folks. It yeah. took me two years to get the, the 15, 15 of us together to, to go there. So, you know, some take a little bit more work, but uh, just trying to have a few different countries around the time frame. So I've got scheduled April, May, November, and December. So uh, mm -hmm. good, nice, you know, four, four schedule. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, wow. All right, I'm looking forward to it. So I'm going to get off. Thanks for the call. All right, Absolutely. All right, family, so we're on a regular session where you just press star six to unmute yourself because I didn't know about this crazy stuff that they got people in queue. And that's what was yeah, it was hard. You couldn't get in, you, and she said it was over, and I don't know what it was doing. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm going to have to just read up on this queue. And I literally clicked on it today, and it was like a whole different thing. I was like, what? But yeah, mm -hmm. but yeah so um, I realized that if I just do it the regular way, mute, unmute, it will just keep us the way we just press star six. Mm -hmm. So... Appreciate the energy. Let me uh, get a few more calls and we'll close out. Can you hear me? Uh, yes, and Diane, let me unmute. Let me just mute you back. Uh, yes, uh, Leonard, uh, go ahead. Okay, I have two questions. Uh, do the buses have restrooms on them? Is the first question. Uh, no. And no. you said no. No, no bus, no rest, no uh, no restroom on the bus. Just make sure you bring some wipes and some things like that. And then if we don't, we can't get you to a bathroom, we'll pull you over to the side of the road. Because sometimes okay. we're, driving, and we're driving from one city to the next, and sometimes the hours in between is this country, just to be honest with you. Okay. All right. And my, sec my second question is, uh, they asked how much money you were going to bring into the country on the visa. Are you held to that amount? Uh, you can put like four, or five, eight hundred. Uh, this one to make sure that you have some spending cash. Okay, that's good. Sounds good. Thanks for everything. Absolutely, absolutely. And everything is clear on the visa, even though I know it's next uh, year. Yeah, everything's fine. 
All right, that's perfect. Uh, so let me mute you and see who else is open. My family, the line is open. Um, I didn't realize everybody was caught up into this queue system when I clicked on Q&A. Uh, so uh, right now, all you have to do is press star six to unmute yourself. All right, family, uh, well, if no one else have any more questions, what I'll do is I'll uh, close the uh, call. And um, uh, beyond that, uh, all the details on the website, uh, africaforafricans.org. And you can call me or text me or email me um, if you have any direct questions or want to talk about anything. Other than that, um, that's our presentation for the night on this beautiful Sunday. So once again, family, this is Bomani Tamba. Everyone take care. Enjoy your rest of your night. And I'll connect back with you next time.